それではキティ代表に本日の締めくくりをさせていただきます本日は足元の悪い中お集まりいただき本当にありがとうございました今日はノーベル平和賞受賞者×大学生ということでムハマド・ユヌス先生をお迎えし2部に分けてディスカッションをしてきました皆さんいかがだったでしょうか第1部ではユヌス先生の経験を生かしたお話を重点的にパネリストとの対話を行いました前半のテーマグラミンやソーシャルビジネスについては、えーついてはバングラーがインドや中国などの急成長している国とどう向き合っていくかというところでバングラーが今まで土地などがあまり恵まれていないということで資源がない国と見られていたこととは逆に安い市場から需要をどんどん安い市場なのでどんどん需要を移すことができるそしてネパールやブータンなどの通り道であるので実はバングラは豊富な資源の国なのだというバングラの新しい一面を知ることができました後半ではソーシャルビジネスは破壊を起こさない傾向にあるビジネスなんだといったお話がありました、えー、世界は本当あすみません、えー、後半の、えー、ユヌス先生の哲学価値観などについては、えー、世界は本当はボーダーレスなんだという国境に意味はないんだという話がありとても印象的でしたまた休憩を挟んでの第2部ではオーディエンスの方々からユヌ先生がどういうふうに困難を克服してきたか貧困撲滅に対してどう考えていらっしゃるか日本が架け橋となるべきなのに自衛隊を派遣することに対してどう思うのかといったいろいろな視点からの質問に答えていただきました。私たち学生にとって未来のビジョンを想像するということは非常に難しいことですそこにユヌス先生が一つの指標となるビジョンを本日与えてくださったことはこれからの大学生活やキャリアデザインに大きく影響を与えるのではないでしょうか今イベントのサブタイトルである「インターセクション・オブ・アワー・フューチャー」は今日を生きる私たちの未来が国際社会の中でどう交わっていくかということを意味していますバングラディッシュと日本は地理的に遠く離れまたそれぞれ大きく異なる独自の文化を持っていますそうした一見関係が薄く思える2つの国がグラミンと九州大学の提携やこうしたイベントなどによって交わることでここにいる一人一人の未来がバングラディッシュそして国際社会とつながり私たち学生がその未来を想像するクリエイターの一端を担っていくということを改めて認識したのではないでしょうか今回の討論では普段本やインターネットではわからないユヌス先生の生の声を聞くことができましたユヌス先生そして参加された皆様全体にとってイベントが有意義なものであったことを願いますユヌス先生本日はわざわざ九州大学までお越しいただきまた貴重な意見をお聞きできたことに本当に感謝しております。Thank you。そしてこの場を借りまして、本日までこのイベントにご協力いただいた九州内外の多くの関係者様に心よりお礼申し上げます。本当にありがとうございました。ありがとうございました続いてユヌス先生から学生へのメッセージを簡単にお話ししていただきますユヌス先生よろしくお願いいたします I thought I spoke enough <laughs> but I enjoyed it very much that's what I wanted to tell you that、uh, this is a good dialogue、uh, we start and、uh, You don't have to accept everything everybody says. The important thing is get your mind to work in your own way to figure out what is it that makes sense to you. Because the most important thing in the world is you yourself.、Uh, you, you have to design your own role.、Uh, whatever you want to see happen in the world,、uh, you define it. What is it that you Need to feel. 
Because sometimes as a young student, as a young man or a young woman, if, uh, we start feeling, oh, I'm so insignificant, what can I do? I'm really not cut out to make any ripple in anywhere. That's the most wrong thing you can think. Is always feel I am the most important person in the world. And it will happen the way I want because I will impact on the world. Because my idea and your idea together will change the world. So I'm not insignificant. If I don't do it, nobody else will do it. So I have to do it. So this is how the feeling has to come that I am the one who decides how to shape the world. I'm a shaper of the world. So if I'm a shaper, I have to know what shape I give it to. And I don't have to be an expert uh, studying many years to see what shape I should give. It is my instinct that this is what I feel right. That if I feel that there no, there'll be no poor people in the world, I don't have to be expert on that. This is my feeling, that why should anybody be expert? And I feel that this is what it should be. There'll be no war in the world. I don't have to be an expert to do that. Why should there be a war, a war among the people? Uh, there should not be any armaments, no military pr uh, preparations. Uh, uh, we can create a world without any army at all. I mean, why can't I think of that? There, are, there is a country which doesn't have any army, like uh, Costa Rica doesn't have any army at all. So why can't the world have something like that? No army at all uh, is possible. So any such thing that what you feel strongly about, say this is what it should be. And for that, I don't have to uh, write books about it. This is the feeling. I'm, I'm a, uh, a citizen of this world. This is what I want, and that's what it should be. Uh, somebody else should not decide for me. I decide for myself. And I find friends who think the same way, and it will be done. That's the important thing to make it happen, that uh, we feel that we are important. And one single person, it's always one single person who can make enormous, enormous impact in, in history, in everywhere. So it's to say that, oh, I'm so insignificant first person is a wrong start. I'm a significant person because I can make a difference in the world. It may not be something that transformed the whole world, but I can transform my own neighborhood, my own environment where I live. It's possible. And that's how it is. Nobody else will come and do it if I don't do it. So why shouldn't I do it? Who else will do it? There's nothing from the sky will be landed here and do it for me. So it is me. So think of that, the power of individual. An individual has enormous power in impacting first my own uh, circle, where my friends and so on, and gradually that circle becomes bigger and bigger. That we are making things, we are saying things which make sense to ourselves. And that's the important thing, that we believe in it and we work for it, not in a violent way, that okay, uh, if you don't believe in what I'm saying, I'm going to shoot you. <laughs> that's not the solution to persuade, to see that you have a logic in what you're saying and make them believe the same way. And that's where the, the wave begins and the world changes with those waves. So to feel that this is the time to feel what is needed to be done. And I'm glad that you raised those questions and uh, it made me happy that you raised those questions. But this should be an ongoing thing rather than just uh, one time we did it and forgot all about it. Uh, then it doesn't proceed. It will be, that dialogue will proceed and we can pre make the world the way we want. Thank you very much. Thank you all.犬先生、心に残る貴重なメッセージをありがとうございました。それでは最後に九州大学特任准教授として開発途上国におけるあ、uh, well, um, 
It is our great honor to have Professor Yunus in uh, Kyushu University, especially in Ito campus. Probably it is the first in the history to have a Nobel laureate in Ito campus. So really, thank you very much for coming to Kyushu University. <clears throat> well, it began with uh, a request from Professor Yunus. He wanted to talk to the young stars, young generation, especially students. So, it's probably a challenge for me how to and courage and how to um, <clears throat> get young students for this event. So then I talked to Professor Yasuda. Well, it was easy, probably an easy task for Professor Yasuda to make two calls. Professor Soejima from Niji Seki program and Professor Sakamoto from Kito program. So they're the two initiators. They brought out 16 students from different departments. And this, in fact, 60 students are from different countries. We have students from, one girl, her father is from Bangladesh. And we have one student from Korea, one from the States. So probably an international group who did this job. So I just wanted to see whether, was it a good job? So I want to ask Professor Yunus, were we able to bring young people for this audience. Yes, no, doubtful. Yeah. Did a good job. Okay, so I got an A here. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you very much. <clears throat> so let's see how uh, 16 students, did they, good, did they do a good job? Um, so my first request for them, it's to make it an interact, interactive session so that it's not only Professor Yunus will talk, but they will make Professor Yunus talk. So. To, they did, thank you very much. So it's challenging. To be able to make a question, you have to understand. So they, they started reading books, searching internet, started discussions, and last two months, they really worked hard for, um, for this event. So did this 16 student, did a good job? Yes, yes, yes. Okay. 16 students, thank you very much. In fact, 16 students and also we have four volunteers who helped us. And um, in the back, we have um, people from, in fact, it started from Fukuoka City Office. They supported us a lot. And then um, the um, IMAC, our Chizaibu, International Affair uh, Division, Koksaibu, and um, the library, in fact, this, um, this in fact, space is, is a library. And um, I thought this is a, and the students also thought it's probably a beautiful environment to have the talk session. And it also has its cues for comments. So it makes sense to have uh, Professor Yunus here. So thanks for, th uh, thanks goes to the librarians as well who allowed us, approved us uh, this room. Thank you very much. So the m real objective of this session to, um, understand what social business is. So people who are here, the participants, um, did they understand social business? So um, raise your hand. If you understood like 80% about social business, raise your hand now. And then I will, uh, okay. Not now, okay. <laughs> Let me. And I want to see just, you know, mama, if it is up to 60%, then. And the third part will be, no, I have to study a lot from now. I didn't understand anything. Then probably it will be a failure of us. So I want to see that as well. So first of all, who understood social business? 80% or more. Wow, very good. I thought even if it is one, I'll take it as a success. Right. How about 60% and then above? Oh, wow. Another good number. How about below 50%? Oh, none. I just, oh, okay, thank you very much. So I have a job for you. In fact, um, <clears throat> Grameen Creative Lab has been established to spread the message and to study social business, to study more and more. And uh, we authored a book, myself and uh, Professor uh, Osugi, um, co-authored a book, and we tried to understand what we understood, we tried to spread um, our findings uh, working with Bangladesh. And uh, 
and I'm happy to, uh, in fact, I forgot in the, surf, in, in the first place, we have Hans Reitz, who is the co-founder of, uh, Hans Reitz, can you just stand up? Um, it's from Germany, co-founder of Grameen Creative Lab. Thank you very much for all the work from Germany. <clears throat> Well, um, so there is, we just started the journey. Um, Grameen Creative Lab is, uh, is, is a, yesterday there was a signing ceremony, so uh, we have a lot of things to do from now. Uh, one of the uh, biggest objective of Grameen Creative Lab is, is, is spreading uh, social business, not only uh, the message, but also implement social business in, in, J in Japan. So uh, once again, uh, thank you very much for coming uh, to this event, if, despite the bad weather. And also thanks for um, coming to this Ito campus. It's a very uh, long way from the city office. Thanks a lot. Ashul先生,ありがとうございました. Well, just there's a request from Professor Yasuda. The 16 students should take a picture with Professor Yunus. So, Yunus先生が退場される前に本イベント主催グループキティからユヌス先生へささやかなプレゼントがございます。それではユヌス先生が退場されます。皆さん盛大な拍手でお送りしましょう。ありがとうございました。<笑>